I mean, what, I want to put some reveals in. I got the basic house laid out. I want us to go back in and start putting in the magic. And so I want to put some reveals in there so we can see the joints. So to do that, we go to the architecture tab, wall, and we drop down to wall reveal. Now you can see up here, Revit's indicating that it, if I put a reveal in right now, it'll be horizontal. If I would prefer it to be vertical, then I simply do that. And I can simply pick the reveal. I've selected the three brick, which will be really wide. And let's see what happens. Um, okay. Okay, so right now I have selected the, I'll get the one brick in there just to start out with. I know that that's going to be too, too wide, but anyway, there it is. Okay. There's my review. All right, so I don't, I don't like that because it's too wide. So, but I'll put another one in anyway. We're going to go wall, reveal. This time we'll do the vertical. Okay. All right, so I have the horizontal and the vertical. I don't like the thickness of it. So now I can click on this guy and edit the type. And I have the ability to change uh, with this little drop down here. And I go small. All right, let's see what happens. And it got me in a, a much nicer, <clears throat> a much narrower reveal, which is more like what I want. So very simply, architecture, wall, wall reveal. And if you don't have something that you like, because I did actually make that myself, you can simply double click on the uh, family. It'll bring up the properties. And now you're in your duplicate. So you can duplicate. Give it a new name, whatever you want. Let's, let's say okay. And then you can change the uh, uh, height, depth, and length of that. You know, brick is eight inches wide. But I did make a mis mistake there. As I said, I want my inset to be into the wall an inch. And then I didn't make the thickness of it um, to the point where it actually uh, cut the wall on the outside. It cut the wall on the inside like a shaft. So, um, but you can change any of these that you want. So let's change them all to two inches and let's see. Three bricks do. Can I'll rename that? Let's just do two inch. It's okay. Now I've called it two inch and it has. Uh, And my insight into the wall is only in it for the reveal. And there we go. So now I can change this guy by select it, edit the type, get my little drop down here, and say two inch. Two inch reveal. There we go. So, real quickly, how to use the reveals vertically and horizontally. Hope it helps.